So would you say that be, that performing surgery on the thyroid cyst is overkill or is that ever needed? It can be needed with caution in some situations. It is really a values-based decision. So it really comes down to what does the patient want? What do I feel like I can offer? Can I meet their interest and needs? Can I set them at ease or not? So it's it's a little more nuanced because there are thyroid cysts that we remove. We do try to aspirate them and ablate them at times. There are some cysts that we remove because some people will hemorrhage into a cyst. So they have a stable cyst and once or twice a year, it will just feel like it swells dramatically. And they'll call me and say, it's big today, it hurts. I'll bring them in and I'll aspirate it and I get blood out. And it only takes one or two times of that where people are like, get it out, I want it gone. So thyroid cysts, it would be nice to avoid surgically operating on those. You know, I think those are great candidates for treatment by other methods. But there are situations where the value is there, that the patient says, like, I really do want it out. I feel it. It's growing. It swells periodically and it scares me. And mm -hmm. that's really valuable. Mm -hmm. They cause compressive symptoms a little less. You know, because they're fluid filled, they don't tend to push quite as much. I had a really neat lady who maybe in her late 80s or early 90s who had a, like a 13 centimeter cyst oh pushing, my. Her, pushing her windpipe over into like a question mark. And she came to me because she thought she had allergies and had poorly controlled asthma and breathing problems for many years. And I thought, maybe you don't have asthma and breathing problems. Maybe you have compression from a really massive thyroid cyst. So we did a test run. I said, well, let's let's aspirate and draw the cyst out and see if you get any value from having the cyst on. And if you do, then we could talk about surgery to remove it. And I withdrew over 130 cc's of fluid. Wow. <laughs> and, uh, and she felt no different. So she had a she had a grapefruit sized cyst that caused no symptoms. So cysts can cause symptoms, but they wow. can also be massive and not cause symptoms somehow. Mm -hmm. So we avoided surgery for her, thankfully. So would that be something that, do you offer PEI in your practice? I haven't routinely in the past, but it's something that we would do along with this. So mm -hmm. we're set and prepared to do that as well. Mm -hmm.